who should replace Donovan in OKC, Stephen A? Well, you know me. I'm going to give you the typical names. I'm going to give you the Ty Lue's of the world. I'm going to give you the Mark Jacksons of the world. I'm going to give you the Sam Cassells of the world. I'm going to give you the Phil Handys of the world and others. Uh, they, you know what? And if it happens to be somebody white, so be it. This basically goes back to my original point last week about uh, Steve Nash to some degree. Now, obviously, I feel bad from the standpoint that Steve Nash doesn't deserve any criticism, nor was I trying to criticize him. What I said was his hiring was emblematic of what we talk about when we talk about white privilege. Opportunities that happened for white folks, but that would never happen for us, having no coaching resume whatsoever, but landing a job like the Brooklyn Nets instead of a rebuilding job like Derek Fisher, Doc Rivers, and others have had to inherit. Having said that, even though this is not a rebuilding situation literally in Oklahoma City, they're not exactly a quote-unquote championship contender, and I'm seeing only five black head coaches in the NBA. I'm going to be watching two black coaches lost their job in Nate McMillan and Alvin Gentry. I'm anxious to see where or if there are going to be any black coaches that are hired this offseason. I'm really interested in seeing whether or not that's going to happen, and I will be watching. Lynn, Ty Lue going to Philly, but l let's put it this way. I, I believe, Stephen A., that you're wrong about the Steve, not, like on the merits. I don't think you're right about Steve Nash and white privilege as it relates to that hire. However, I will say this in support of your basic position, including the Nets and the Knicks, because they've already made their hires. By the way, neither one a, an African-American head coach. In a predominantly African-American league with relatively few head coaches, um, there are seven altogether jobs, the five remaining plus those two. And if it so happens that in each case, it's, or most of them even, it's a white hire, and then in each case, hey, but this is the guy we want because of this, this, and this reason, at a certain point you go, wait a minute. But then the trend continues. Why is this happening? One of the reasons that Ty Lu is going to get another job is because he got a job in the first place. One of the reasons that happened is because LeBron James said this is not working out with David Blatt, who, by the way, had no NBA head coaching experience, and, gave, and, and he was shown the door and Ty Lue was brought in. So getting the opportunity in the first place is important in the NBA. And if these jobs fill up and it's like two hires of black head coaches and five of white, then I would agree. We're, we're seeing a continuation of a problem. But I won't say that about the Steve Nash hire. And let's see what happens with these five other jobs. Well, well, first of all, let me clear the air about some, something down there in Oklahoma City. It's no bad blood between Billy Donovan, Sam Presti, and Clay Bennett. Matter of fact, they, had, they were drinking beers last night. So both of, those, both of those parties have mutual respect for one another. It's just that the franchise is going in another direction. And at this point in time in Billy's career, he wants to be going in a, in a different direction. So I wanted to clear the air on that. But the Thunder are going to be in a rebuilding stage. I don't believe Chris Paul is coming back. I don't think, I don't think that, uh, Gallinari is coming back. They're going to go youth. They got a lot of draft picks. They're going to be drafting guys. So with that being said, I don't believe Ty Lue and Mark Jackson are the guys for the job simply for the fact that I believe they should be coaching contenders, not uh, rebuilding teams. I think first-time coaches, guys that need to get their first opportunity, like Sam Cassell, uh, Rex Kal uh, Kalamian, uh, Phil Handy, uh, even Damon Stoudemire down there in Pacific. Those are the guys that need to come in so that they could grow with these young guys and grow with these draft picks and that they're going to get. That's why the Thunder and Billy Donovan parted ways because they're going young. And by the way, Max, I disagree with you. Ty Lu hired was completely yeah. by David Griffin and not LeBron James. And I'm going to leave it at that. I Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.